Hi guys, this is Alexis from Reflections of a Bookaholic here with another plan with me. I am showing you the spread from last week using a kit from Lexi Kylie Designs. I, I just adore this kit. Um, I love the color combination. I'm not a huge fan of the color green, so bringing in all these other colors really made this spread for me. Um, moving on to this week though, this is the week of March 11th through March 17th. This week includes St. Patrick's Day, so I am going to use a more, oh, excuse me, my chair is squeaking. I am going to use a more traditional um, St. Patrick's Day kit this week. And I picked up a few sheets from River Street stickers. And just going through this really quickly, we've got full boxes, a Monday through Sunday tracker, some quarter boxes, half boxes, bottom washi, and date covers. So pretty simple, very small. Um, I may pull from my stash, I may pull from the kit that I used last week, I need leftovers, especially the deco, since I didn't use them last week. Um, and I'm pulling in the wa this washi from Simply Gilded. I'm using this green, I think this is, I don't know the names, I'm not even gonna pretend. And then I've got the vertical bows that I'm going to use for checklists. So that's it. If you are interested in watching this play with me, stay tuned and let's get started. So I start off at the top with the day covers and then I move to the bottom washi. A little bit about my planning style. I call this planner my reflection planner. So everything that goes in this planner has already happened. I use this planner to compare it to my main planner. It helps um, me manage my anxiety. It holds me accountable. And it helps me see how much I can realistically plan. And one of the things I said in my last uh, plan with me is that if I can realistically know how much I can do in a given day and do those things, then it doesn't matter when I do them. I can do it when I feel like it and not like a nine to five situation where you have to do the dreaded things first. I can kind of have some leeway. I can take a nap in the middle of the day, things like that. Additionally, um, when you see me put in things like what I ate or um, things like that, either I don't remember what I did um, or um, I'm not managing my time well and I'm just kind of filling up a little bit of space so whether or not I say it on here that may tell me something like in my mind like ooh, hmm that wasn't up to expectations or your anxiety wasn't high right there that's just being lazy and so it helps me and I look over it and I reflect on it and it helps me regardless of what I mentioned in the video. And on a petty note, it also helps me win arguments every once in a while with my husband because I know exactly when I did Jacob's routine and drop off. <laughs> and um, I typically do bath night, but um, yeah, there are things in there that's like, mm, nope, I that's not what you did and I can show you. Don't, don't do what I do. Um, this week, I was listening to Happier Podcast because I was still in an audiobook funk. And I was reading Harry Potter and... Which, which one was I reading? Harry Potter... The fourth Harry Potter book that I also finished this week. So, moving on to Play With Me. My sidebar is very similar to every other week. Moving to the plan with me on Monday, I put down the briefcase because I had a small final trial um, that briefcases from Mochi Plans. I put down the Simply Gilded Washi that I mentioned earlier um, to use as a checklist. One of the things I noticed in this plan with me is how um, I'm, I've always known that I'm unable to write in a straight line, but um, I, one of the things that I see and notice is like how there is no improvement in that. It's just ridiculous. So the the envelope sticker at the top is from Knockout Print Shop. I took a nap after work, and that that um, nap sticker, I guess you could call it, is from Planning Like a Pro. 
the bow paper clip is from um, Planner Frenzy. I went to the dentist for cleaning. Lots of anxiety. Um, and then I came back and cleaned the kitchen. Um, that deco stickers from the kit that I used last week. And then I made some pizza and watched a movie with the guys. And by guys, I mean my munchkin and my husband. Did some reading at night and then I moved to Tuesday. So on Tuesday, I used a sticker from the Coffee Monsters Code to mark that I did Jacob's routine and drop off. And um, that sticker is a little light, but it has like a barbell on it. And I just put that down to mark that I did bar. Um, when I got back from bar, um, I took a nap, which is probably kind of counterproductive. Um, but that Tofu the Panda sticker is from the Stick With Me shop. Um, I then put down a full box. Um, and just to kind of take up a little bit of space and separate the section. And then I put down a laptop sticker. And you know, now that I mention it, I do not have, um, I cut it in, in such a way that I don't know where that sticker is from. Um, I, I didn't leave the shop name on it when I was moving around stickers, but I just noted I went to my office to do some work there. Um, and then I put down a to-do header and use the bow washi to kind of jot down some things I did for work. I did, had some check-ins. I needed to, to contact some placements, review some documents, do some filing, just some really boring administrative things. I needed to run another payroll, pay some bills, and do some drafting. I'm down a paralegal right now, so I'm doing a lot more drafting and kind of like, I don't know, reviewing things that I normally don't have to do and I can tell you that for me it is so I, it's so refreshing just like it, some people don't like like the tedious work but I just like that like move to the next thing move to the you know I like that so much better at the end of the evening I went to a rebel and rest event um to support a friend um she's a co-founder and it's it's basically an organization about the idea that being a rebel in fighting so hard for social injustice there it can be exhausting um, it can be stressful it can bring on anxiety and like there's just this this place of wanting to fight but also be able to step back from the fight and it be okay and step back back it means like self-care but self-care an environment that understands um, and a lot of the work that I do um, it's kind of called compassion fatigue. So sometimes when you help a lot of people in need, you just get this fatigue, this exhaustion from always dealing with such um, emotionally draining um, things. Um, and so that was a great event. I kind of skipped all of Wednesday, but on Wednesday I did Jacob's drop off. I used a sticker from the, ke the deco from last week to mark um, that I got an oil change. Um, my husband met me at PF Chains while we waited for my car. Um, I had a bath, I had some Jacob time, and I did some planning for his fourth birthday party. And then I needed to do some prep for trial. Um, <clears throat> and then I moved to Thursday. So on Thursday, I used the, um, mm, that is like a work folder sticker to my final trial. I'm not quite sure where it's from. Um, excuse that. Um, and then I put down an appointment label to mark that I did borrow with Shelby. Um, I really had some difficulty with <laughs> making stickers straight. Um, and honestly, it, 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 when I think about this week, this week was kind of a rough week with me for my handwriting, uh, putting down crooked stickers, and just being overall kind of uninterested in my reflection planner, just kind of not putting my best effort. And I think I was just kind of distracted, like kind of doing it to do it um, and reflecting and doing all those other things, but not, it wasn't as relaxing and enjoyable. And I, I'm not, I don't remember why. I just remember that that was the case. So I used the sticker from Toffee Bananas to note that I picked up Jacob and took him to speech therapy. Um, and then at the end of the day, <clears throat> I, in the, really the evening, so this is after six, I'm back at work. So I had to go to a meeting, um, a family group conference at the summit location, um, on a case. And then 
I went to Starbucks for a pick-me-up, and then I tagged along with my husband to Pint House. Um, he's a big craft beer fan. Um, no beer for me, and I intended to work out on Friday, and I don't like to drink the day before a workout. Um, and the mug sticker is Deco from the kit from last week. Um, I did Jacob's bath night, and then I moved to Friday. So on Friday, I had an early start, and then I knew it, that I had a 264 review hearing. Then I met up with my brother at 24 Diner that, um, I think it's a French toast sticker, is from Plants with Finesse. I then put down that envelope sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I went to my office. Um, after some time in my office, I put down a quarter box to mark that I ran some errands, and then I cut down some Simply Gilded Washi to kind of mark the errands that I ran. A little bit of errands and a little bit of like just everyday work. Um, practice some lettering, not my best, but I definitely, um, it's a little erratic, but I definitely have some good times and some bad times and I'm just, I'm not going to give up and I'm going to keep practicing even if you guys judge me. Um, so for errands, I dropped off some lunch to my husband. I had to pick up some paperwork, pick up Jacob and drop him back off some rails. I needed to go to Trader Joe's. I needed to go to Joann's and I needed to go to HEB and do some calls, visits, emails. And you know, I kind of have a question. So like I've been struggling with Joann's. Like there is no plural. It's just one store. And then sometimes I put an apostrophe S but there's really, it is Joanne, but it's not Joanne's store, so there's not a possession. Like, how do you refer to that? Just Joanne? I went to Joanne? That doesn't seem right either. Hmm. I gotta figure that out. It's been really bothering me for, like, a couple weeks now. Um, at the end of the day, I did a meal prep of some stuffed peppers, and then I reviewed my planner to see where I was on my week. Um, it was a fantastically productive week. Um, but a lot of things came up out of the blue that I handled, and so I needed to really check in and see where I was on the things that I needed to do or planned to do this week. So moving to Saturday, I slept in. Um, then we had a road trip. The road trip stickers from um, Love Shira, and the pillow as Tofu the Panda sticker is from the Stick With Me shop. Um, I noted that. Um, the road trip was to Waco. I needed to do an unannounced visit um, at the Waco Zoo. And boy, did it cause some issues. Um, but I took the little with me because after I did the visit, I wanted him to enjoy the zoo. And he really did. After that, we went to, like, there was this food truck event. And we got a funnel cake because Jacob loves funnel cakes just like his mama. And then, um, and that's a sticker next to that is from Once More With Love. So then I used a chef sticker from Kina Prince to note that I cooked steak that night and we watched Jane the Virgin. At the end of the night, I watched um, Harry Potter movies in bed and edited a uh, plan with me. So moving to Sunday, I put down a clipboard. And I, I'm sorry, I don't remember what shop that's from. And then I put down... A sticker, the heart sticker from Clever Gal Crafts. I don't really like how that looked, but I was too lazy to pull it up. Um, and I was just marking that I was the service producer at my church. So then I put down the pillow sticker to mark the Sunday nap that I took that I always take on Sundays. And I had to wipe that out because it was horrible and I tried again. And it was still horrible, but I was super lazy at this point. I um, put down a full box from where I wanted it and um, that kind of cloud sticker came in the kit and I just noted some snuggle time with Jacob. And I should also say that snuggle time is different from cuddle time. Snuggle time is kind of like Jacob is asleep and I'm leaning on him and kissing him and, and just kind of looking at him and be like, wow, he's so big. Cuddle time is when like I'm enjoying his presence and he's like, on my head or jumping on me and I'm just having to settle that for like love because he won't chill out. Um, at the end of the day I just did some did a few things um, with the plan with me and got it uploaded and everything else. Um, I accidentally deleted the last footage of this plan with me so I don't show 
what's left of this kit. It just ends abruptly. Sorry about that. 